Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Hokey. Hi, everybody. It's and Ritzy Land. It's been a while. It's been, been a while. morning show. I mean, he's been here a couple times, but yeah. Chris is coming back from Vegas today, so I asked Hokey would he come in and, and fill in, and uh-huh. and uh, I just hope well, that the people don't go boycott and want you instead of Chris to come back. I don't know what's going to well, happen. Well, see, Chris's hair is what brings him back. Yeah. And I tried to come over <laughs> today. It just wasn't happening. <laughs> So Chris still got me on the hair deal. So so I know I'm going to say this first and get it out of the way. And I yeah. know you're going to even say no, and that's fine. Okay. You did not watch any of the NBA All-Star. No. I didn't, I didn't even know it was on other than one text you sent that okay. told me it was on. All right. So we'll eliminate that, and we'll, get, we'll just, just skip that whole deal. Uh, today, it's going to be kind of rainy today. It's a rainy, nasty, cold day. As well as I hate the temperature like this, where it's too. This is too hot. Yep. But if I don't wear it, I'm chilly. chilly. I totally agree with that. I hate that that that. temperature. On your way over here this morning, you said to me, "I haven't. I have a kind of have a topic idea." Yeah, I do have an idea. And as he was telling me about it, I went, "That is the top. That is perfect." Yeah. So, give give the scenario. Scenario is this. Somebody was had a minor compl- minor complaint about a local business that I know the management of. No, that's us. Okay, this is the backyard. I'll let him be that. Yeah, I, you keep. I'll tell it. It's the backyard. Hey, all right. So they said, hey, they had some friends who were going to go over there. Their friends got there before they did, and the doorman was really rude. That's Big George. And they decided not to go in, and they said to hell with it, and they went somewhere else. And so when we were asking her on Saturday how her Friday night went, she told us this story. Right. And I was like, well, hey, I know the owners very well. I would be happy to speak to them about it. Do you know who the doorman was or you want to have her call me and tell me who the doorman was or whatever? I think it's Big George. She goes, we think. (coughs) She goes, no, that's okay. And then she continued to, to kind of gripe about things. And I thought to myself, I have just offered you a solution. Maybe get you yeah. some free food. Get maybe in. get Taking you a care f- of your problem. I would, somehow or another, I know if I went to Chris Russ or even Brian or the, even CB, yeah. somebody would do something nice. Correct. I offered her a solution. She rejected it and continued to gripe. So, do people really want solutions? No. Or do they want to just gripe? You, what you said is they, they want to continue to bitch because... The more they bitch, the more you're going to go, oh, you won't. But the people around them will yeah, go, you know sympathetic, what? That's yeah. right. I feel, I, I, maybe I won't do that. And it happens with us or, in the backyard. poor you. That's, That's a good. shame that yeah. happened to I you. I can't believe they were I rude. can't believe that. You deserve better than that. And I was going to say, Attention. with all the people that come in and out of that backyard, uh-huh. there's a lot of dicks in there. We've talked about that. <laughs> and there's people that <laughs> this guy was a dick, and then George might be snappy with the next one. Yeah. But you just got to get in. You gotta have a form of ID or pay a cut. It's, right, it's right. common sense, but I'm not on top of that. Yeah, they don't want solutions. Well, it's just you know managing social media for clients. I see Google reviews, Facebook reviews, Yelp reviews, all day, every day. Yep. And I'm telling you, God is my witness. It is 97 percent negative. It, it, and I know all these clients and backyard that do good stuff all the time. But no one will go review those. No, you only get the negative. And then, and then I can't tell you how many times a client or the backyard or hell, even Red Sea in the past have offered, hey, let me fix this. Yeah. And they'll reject it. And they're like, oh, don't worry about it. Well, they won't take the review down. There's what I was After you tried to help them, they'll just leave it there. And this this doesn't go for just businesses. We I see this oh. on Facebook and people's personal. Individual lives, yeah. On Man, I need to do this, and somebody will comment on there, hey, and give them a solution, like yeah. you said, and they're like, no, I don't, I don't want to. Yeah. You, you are absolutely right. People it, that bitch want to bitch. Well, y'all, what do y'all? One of the in Red Sea, we've been. I don't know how many years have we all been together now. Well, the uh, three of us at least uh, since two thousand nine, because we started. So eight years, eight years or so. So God. in that eight years, we've all said like what each of these quirks are. Yeah, what y'all's quirks is. That uh, if y'all are working, sometimes I don't offer help because I don't yeah. think if I'm doing my thing and they're doing things, I don't ever think, "Hey, y'all want help?" I just keep doing my thing until right. you ask. Right. But if you were to ask, you would help. I would help. Totally get it. So the same to me, it's kind of the same thing. If if, if somebody offers help and you reject it, that is on you. Yes, I, you're 100 percent correct. 
100% correct. And people just want to bitch. But the great thing, like you just said, is wow. sympathy. Attention. Attention. Yeah. Or they want to keep posting so people will keep commenting because I'm bored. And so I want to keep this fire going. I'm going to keep putting coals on this fire. And so it, and it ain't male, talking. female. It is both. Yeah, both. It is both. I have seen more men just whining oh. on Facebook for attention. But not wanting solutions. Not wanting help. Just attention. Yeah, I was going to go into, because you left Central Freight and followed your dream. I was going to go into, you know, following your dream today as, as like okay. passionate. But now that we're on to this, okay. I, I, I don't know if I want to leave it. I, I don't know if I, <laughs> I, I want to leave it because the more you talk about it, the more it is absolutely right is... Do we live in a society now of just complainers? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I I, I know that, um, and we don't really put, we have no empathy. Empathy meaning I can, I can understand what's going on with you, what's wrong or whatever. Right. So like, I, I know if you catch me out in public, I'm probably not going to talk a whole lot. Yeah. Just because my mind's usually on something else. So if you stop me, I'm like, hey, I'm going to keep going. And I know people probably would think I'm rude or whatever, but just they have no. You gotta be empathetic to what that person's going through. Right. I'm using myself as an example. I guarantee you, my mind's on five other things other than saying hi to you. So they might say I'm rude, but they don't know what you're doing. They don't know what I'm doing. But the deal is, it would be different to go. Man, I, I saw Hoke. I waved. He didn't wave. But that person is gonna go over on Facebook and go, God, Chris Hoke for Red Sea today. Yeah. That dick. I he tried did. to say hi at H E B and he didn't yeah. say hi. Yeah, he's stuck up or he's they're like, well, that's the last thing I am. I just, I can't concentrate on one thing at a time. But we live in a world <laughs> of, that is absolutely right. We live in a world of complainers. complainers. Everything, something's wrong. If yeah. I don't get into my seat at, at wherever I want to eat on time, yeah. I'm going to write a bad review about it, even though I go six days a week. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. I don't get, you know, this red light, if they don't fix this road on, I saw somebody bitching about the Franklin Road. Yeah. Because of the, the cones. They were well, like, what's wrong with the city? I'm like, they're trying to make it better. I-35 last week, everybody was on Facebook complaining because there was a standstill. The next day you find out somebody died. Two families. Uh, the, the author lady the, the, died. The husband, the, the both husbands lived and both families died. Well, I saw that report too. Was that here or that was, was that even real? Because no, I never saw it again. I just read it on the Facebook. So it I saw it too. I saw exactly what you're talking about, but then I saw, no, I thought maybe it was a fake story. Oh, okay. Could but be. I know the author died, but my point is, either way, it doesn't matter. Everybody one day complains about the traffic and the next day they're like, oh, horrible, horrible, somebody died. Well, they were dying. And you're bitching. While you were bitching about the traffic standstill. Yeah. They were literally, their life was leaving them as you were bitching on Facebook about traffic. Somebody bitched so. about the new Walmart. This is what we're saying. Social media. Somebody bitched about the new Walmart that lives in the Hewitt area because it says God. on their deal. It was too crowded. I'll never go back again. And I go, hey. It's Walmart. It's Walmart. Plus, it's like from where she sent her deal in Hewitt, it's like seven blocks. Hey, oh dumbass. Are you telling me you won't go seven blocks? You're going to drive all the way? It's brand new. I ain't got nothing but love for the new Walmart. I got nothing but love for because the new I went Walmart. in there, and they all know I'm a Star Wars collector. They had a detailed the two legged walker called ATST. That's there, you know, highly detailed, fifty bucks. I grabbed it, so I got nothing but love for. I got nothing Walmart. for love because it's right next to our house, and it's, I love going there. Yeah, I get I can get to that new Walmart like in three minutes. If you're a complainer and you complain all the time, complain about this show because I know you will. Yeah. They'll go, it ain't me. I don't do that. Stupid ass Red Sea TV. Right. I don't do that. It'll How many people have complained about Red Sea over the years? Oh. Just saying. They're still watching and complaining. And just look who's on Amazon Prime. But just Bam, bam, bam. Shane we... Christian. Shane Christian I ran into at Ace Hardware and Hewitt. I know he watches the show religiously. CTIT. So a shout out to Shane if you're watching. He asked me about the morning show. He watches. So just want to give a special shout out. So I was going to key made it. Ace. And for anybody that don't know, he hasn't worked at Melody Ranch in the last two years. Dear Lord. Yeah. Follow your friends. He was working that day. I give it to him. If his wife's watching, just so you know, he Amanda. was working that day. Okay, Amanda. He was working Amanda. Yeah, I can vouch for him. All right. One, the last thing before we get out of here, and it's it's a topic that is dear, near and dear to me and Hokey both. Food. Oh, sorry. You knew exactly what I was <laughs> Hokey, and I, and I want you to understand 
what we're having today at the Backyard Lunch Special. Oh, what do we have today? It is the BB, the Brian Brown, Brian Brown. Sleazy Cheesy Sloppy Joe. Well, Sleazy Cheesy definitely is Brian. That, that's what I'm saying. Now, we had this, we, we rolled it out about a week or two ago, and the lunch order, we, we ran out. Okay. It is a Sloppy Joe with melted cheese in it on toasted bread. And I know wow. how you love the Golden Corral mac and cheese chili. That's, oh, that's my boy. I know one of his favorite. Y'all go. Y'all, y'all don't know life until you go to Super Salad, get yep. you the mac and cheese, and then go over to the taco bar, and they have chili, chili for the for the for yep. the for the, the, for the taco. potatoes and the taco the taco meat. You mix the taco meat, chili, and mac and cheese at Super Salad, your life will change. If the apocalypse happened, that's all he would need. That's all I need. But today's lunch special: the BB Sleazy Cheesy. Sleazy che- with French Sleazy fries. I met her drink. one time, Sleazy Cheesy. You have met her. Yeah. I'm sure more than once. Get out <laughs> in the backyard and have that. Tomorrow, Chris may be back. We don't know. It depends on your comments today. So here's the thing. You know what? Let me throw out a challenge. Okay. We do the show all the time. Uh-huh. We do the show all the time. Sure. And I want people to start telling us. I want comments on, you know what? I want to see tomorrow. I want to see Hope and Chris do the show. Tomorrow, I, I want to see... Russell and Hope do the show. There's only three of us, so it's me, yeah, Hope, it's and pretty Chris. Easy. Well, the, I tell you what, the the the, the Hope and Chris Cox show will be like way quieter. That is true. It'll be like, what'd you do today? Well, we yeah, went to the store. That is true. I might have to keep it, keep it. I might have to keep it, uh, keep it going. <laughs> Big shout out to my homeboy, Mr. Hollywood Yates. Had a bull. Uh, of course, everybody knows he's a is a bullfighter and a, and a rodeo clown. Really? As far as I Wolf from American Gladiators, that's where huh. he got his start. Yeah, and he's been in a lot of our projects, which we yeah. are going to get him down here for some more. But he had a great uh, rodeo this weekend. And I think he was in California, but oh no, he's in Arizona. Big shout out to him. And until tomorrow, with your comments. Comments. Maybe Hoke, maybe Chris, maybe Hoke and Chris. I don't know. But remember, he don't have to get up early, so don't don't vote him for it. This, this is not getting up for you, for us, y'all, for me. <laughs> Till tomorrow, I am Russ. That is Hokey, and we are.